kid, sit with kid. Everybody wants to sit with kid, sit with kid, sit with kid. Everybody wants to sit with kid. Yeah. Because everybody wants to see the ball screen, so you let me know when you're ready. Craig. I just want. Uh, hey, Craig. Wow. How can I? How can I pass that up? Hi, I'm Kit Carson, the pizza man on Duval Street here in beautiful Key West. <laughs> in front of Ricks and, and Dirty Harry's at Angelina's. And today I have a very special guest on Sit With Kit. We're going to come over and introduce him to you. Hello, sir. All right. All right. So I'm sitting here with this gentleman. I'm going to let him introduce himself and tell you where he's from. Hello, sir. What's your name? Hi, Kit. I'm from Dave, I'm Dave Scott from St. Louis. Dave Scott from St. Louis. Yes, sir. What do we need to know about Dave Scott? Well, I love this pizza in here, I'll tell you That's that. That's all we need to know. We can cut right there. <laughs> Done with this dinner. <laughs> I mean, Dave Scott and I have known each other for probably 25, 25 years, years, I would say, so yeah. So I met you coming down here for powerboat races, Correct. probably. Correct. And that was whenever you were running with what what boat were you running? I was uh, sponsored by Budweiser. Sponsored by Budweiser. So I had uh, I started out with uh, Budweiser first, and then uh, every year they or every other year they change it. So we went Budweiser, Bacardi Silver, Bud Select, and then Bud Light. There you go. Yeah. And that's how I met you doing the powerboat races here in Key West. That's usually in November. Yes, sir. It still is. Anyway, so you're from St. Louis, and you spend a lot of time on the Lake of the Ozarks. Is that correct? Absolutely. That's my uh, that's second your, home. That's your second home. Second home. Now, I, I know we have a local here named Robert Allen that spends some time with you on the lake. He has, and he actually took me out here. Excuse me. On the water today. Oh, did he? Yeah. Nice. So we were cruising about 40. About 40. Yeah, we went out to Marvin Key and had a wonderful time. And you know, uh, I I run 200 on water. So I told Robert, I said we need to pick it up a little bit out here. 40. You felt like you could get out and walk. Actually, it was very nice. But uh, so what is your? Let me just ask this. I know you. I know you've got some records. What is the fastest you've ever done on the Lake of the Ozarks? Uh, 208 miles per hour was the official number, 218 miles an hour on the GPS. So to put it in perspective, 200 miles per hour is a football field per second. You do a football field in one second. That's what it is. Man, out here fast. in Key West, when we were racing out here, we'd go from the harbor, which is turn one down in the harbor, out to turn, turn. I'm sorry, we go from the harbor to turn one, and we would run like 176, 178, right. and then we'd hit turn one, and of course we have to work the waves across, and then coming back in, we'd usually run like 160 to 163 coming in. And How we loved it. And they've short, they shortened it up to make it more spectator friendly. They I mean, have. You, you ran back when they would go out almost the same key and run way down the We did. And then back along Smathers Beach, and it was a 14 or 15 mile course. Yeah. And now they've shortened it up. Do you like it better short? You know, I think really for the spectators, it's fantastic. Right. They've done a really good job of uh, sort of consolidating and refining the classes. Right. So people are running closer and tighter, and it's more competitive. I think it's much uh, more spectator friendly. Yeah, that's, and that was always the issue with racing. It was. You know, I mean, you're running on a 15 mile course, and you're only going to see a football field of it. Yeah. Yeah. I but mean, that is true. That, but it, it, Key West is just such a great place because you have them coming in and doing the turn, going back out. You, you can see the almost the whole course. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely. It's it was. It's the, you know, it's the epitome of racing. I mean, it's yeah. like, it's the epicenter. It's the it point. is. It's the, it is the World Cup. And uh, we all came here for the World Championships every year, and uh, we ran nine World Championships here, and we won nine times. Ran nine we times. We were very and won. fortunate. You were very competitive. Very fortunate. Yeah, very fortunate. That's right. Well, you know, there's a little bit of uh, fortune and luck and all involved. A lot of luck. 
a lot of skill, a lot of talent, a lot of money. Yeah. So. <laughs> but a lot of fortune. And you but I love it here and love knowing you, man. It's been a hey, while. It's been a great. So give me one story. What? No, you're not leaving yet. I'm I gotta go. Give... I gotta. You... I know he's always gotta, gotta go. I gotta. I got a little. I'm a little busy right now. He, he's he's making a deal. I know what he's doing over yeah. there. But I wanted to grab you. All right. So before you go, then yes, sir. I'm gonna let you go, but I'm gonna ask you one hard question. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. If you were a pizza, what kind of pizza would you be? Oh man, I'd have pepperoni all over me. <laughs> I guarantee you. <laughs> oh right, all over. All right, well, Dave. All I right. appreciate your time. Thanks Thank for you. having me, Thank kid. You so much. Love knowing you, man. It. You're the Great best. person. You are the best. Thank you. All right, so there's Mr. Dave Scott from St. Louis, Missouri, and he is a world-class offshore powerboat racer. World-class, without a doubt. Thank you. Say we can.